February is National Heart Month. That's where we are today with the mm -hmm. first day. So what better time to learn more about CPR training? So joining us now to talk more about National Wear Red Day and overall heart health is Andrea and the American Heart Association uh, and Dr. Dr. Hamdala uh, with CHI St. Joseph Health. So thank you both so much for being here. Absolutely. Thank you for Thanks having, for having us. us. Appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about CPR training. All right. Well, we are so excited during uh, National Heart Month to be promoting that we want people to learn hands-only CPR. And throughout this uh, centennial year for the American Heart Association, we are working to create a nation of lifesavers, which is really encouraging as many people as we can to learn hands-only CPR so that you're not just a bystander if something happens, but can actually jump in and save someone's life. And not only are we talking about CPR, but the fact that do you all remember when we were dealing with DeMar Hamlin and in that Cincinnati Bengals game? Yeah. So a lot yeah, of that is starting to follow through, you know, with sports and, and that type of connection. Can you talk a little bit about that as well? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we know that about 350,000 people have an out of hospital cardiac arrest each year. And um, unfortunately, only about 10% of those people actually survive. So we know the difference is for us to jump in and make sure that we're uh, performing hands only CPR until EMS can get there and extend the possibility of that person's life. Wow. All yeah. right, uh, Dr. Amdala, in the red day coming up tomorrow. Yes. It's really important for, for you coming from your side of it, but it's important for the awareness for everybody, right? Yes, correct. So, I mean, the, the whole idea is to try to emphasize the importance of heart disease in women. Um, people um, miss the fact that heart disease is the number one killer for women, unfortunately. It is for women and women. Historically, we've thought of heart disease as mainly for men and we have been behind the game. The truth about it is it's a leading cause of uh, medical problems for both men and women. And the studies have always lagged behind in terms of getting women involved as much as men are. And so we're trying to raise the awareness of the importance of heart disease for women as much as it is for men, trying to emphasize that they need to be also involved in take, checking on their heart condition, being active, a preventive medicine is extremely important for both men and women trying to uh, minimize the risk of heart disease on the long run. Wow. So tell us, how can we find more information on everything involving your organizations? Well, you can go to heart.org slash Kentucky, and that's, uh, we have every bit of the information about the, the organization there, but uh, most importantly, tomorrow is National Wear Red Day, so Absolutely. we want to make sure that everyone wears red, and we know that, you know, in Lexington there's a lot of blue, but uh, but get your get in your closet, dig out that red shirt, and wear it tomorrow to help us promote and, um, you know, build awareness for, for women's heart health. Absolutely. And Dr. Hamdala, you know, we, we all know, and we, we see the information to, 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 to um, what to do, you know, change your diet, all this, what's just the most simplest piece of advice you can share to somebody out there to, to get heart healthy? So uh, in my personal opinion, the best advice is being active, exercising routinely. You know, we recommend at least an average of 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week for everybody to uh, help on the long term. And so going out, getting active, walking, cycling in a gym, outside in your own neighborhood, whatever environments you're comfortable with, whatever activity you're uh, happy with and something you can stick with on the long run is what I always encourage my patients to do. Okay, quickly, what are some of the warning signs? I know we don't have much time. Um, so uh, chest discomfort and you know I emphasize the word discomfort not pain because sometimes folks are looking for the pain but it's sometimes mm -hmm. it's just that vague uh, pressure like sensation they have in their chest shortness of breath uh, women may tend to sometimes have different symptoms but I always encourage patients if you start noticing that you're not feeling right your energy is not right you're getting more out of breath just simply going up your uh, stairs at home then definitely get in touch with your family physician get things checked out make sure you're on top of things early on the earlier we detect it the easier it is for us to uh, help folks perfect thank you so much to both of you for being here it's our and pleasure. make sure to wear red everyone yeah, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs>